What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series and in this episode we will create the police spawner so we can spawn policemen randomly in our level. With that said, it's going to be a very easy bit to follow so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is go to the blueprints folder and create a new actor. So let's right click, go to blueprint class and create an actor and let's name this BP underscore police spawner. So this actor will be the actor in charge of spawning the policeman in a random location. So what I'm going to do is add a component which is going to be a billboard. And this is simply to see it in the world. But you know, this item or blueprint specifically is going to be invisible, right? This is just going to have a logic. So let's go now to the bench graph and on the bend tick, sorry, on the begin play, we want to um, make this spawn, right? So let's right click, create a new custom event, and this will be something as spawn police. And on here, what I'm going to do is call the create or spawn, you know, actor from class, whatever you prefer to name it. And on here, I'm going to go and select the police, BB police, right? So the actual actor character class. And on the collision handling, we can leave everything as default. But for the transform, I want to right click and split it. So have the location, rotation and scale separate. And on location, I want to get a random point in reachable radius. So this will enable me to get a random position in the nav mesh. And if I, you know, press P, we can see the nav mesh right now, you know, occupies the whole level. So we have no problem on you know them spawning in incorrect areas also which is really cool so in origin this will be the get actor location and in radius it will be like you know 5000 or even more um but for now let's put 5000 because we're working on this map which isn't very big and with that said we are good to go so in the begin play the only thing that we need to do is a for loop and it's going to be this flow loop um, on our flow control. And on here, we're going to have the first index as, as one and the last index as how many policemen we want to put in. Let's say that, you know, for this map right now, we have five. So in the loop body, we say spawn police and simply, you know, every um, for every policeman. So five, it will find a spot and spawn it. OK, so very straight straight forward so there we go we're good to go we can compile save drag it into our level <laughs> make sure to remember to drag it into level important and now when i press play whoa there we go so you saw the policeman that spawn and killed me so maybe we can you know increase the radius to a bit more maybe like twenty thousand. i don't know if this map is too small for that but well there we go it's working right um i mean they're hostile right now automatically of course that's the thing that will change but you can see that the policemen are spawning we have another one there we have another one at a distance over there over here right so everything is working and there we go okay so cool um we have a simple police spawner nothing crazy um but we need you know make a simple code because it's functional and it will give us the crate um the correct places because well if we're using the, the nav mesh so areas with buildings and so on will not you know enable the policeman to spawn in. so that's it guys if you found this video helpful i would really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to my channel i was on unreal engine 5 videos and tutorials so check them out join me to the server follow me on socials now yes with all that said bye bye